for the past two days, y'all, it's been attack of the Asian lady beetles. Y'all, they're everywhere. They are so bad. I have not seen them this bad since the 90s when they first showed up in Tennessee because um, these things are off the chain. I mean, you can see behind me, this is our goat shed behind me. It's completely covered inside and out. Going in there, I get completely covered in ladybugs. They're on me probably right now. And uh, I have a goat that's in milk right now, so I've been milking her in there. While I'm milking, I'm completely bombarded because the milk stand is in there with these Asian lady beetles. Now, I don't know if this is, you know, how many states uh, all over the country are like this. I know it's really bad in Tennessee, um, North Alabama. I've heard people talk about it in um, Ohio even. So it's probably it's over several different states. And they're just, they have pockets. Like there may be people across our county that aren't getting these this infestation, um, whereas we're getting it. And there's parts of Tennessee that they're not getting it that bad. But to this time in our holla, it's bad. It's real bad. In fact, <laughs> Uh, my son and I were talking. We're like, I cannot believe they don't have a horror movie now about these Asian lady, lady beetles taking over. Because this would make a sure good uh, horror movie. So anyway, I said, so Isaac, if you if they came out with a horror movie about these Asian lady beetles, what would we call it? What would we name the movie? He immediately, without skipping a beat, they come in the fall. I was like, oh my goodness, that would be perfect. But that's just him. He's hilarious, y'all. He comes up. He's so witty. And I was like, you know what? You got to direct it. We got to direct it. Let's shoot the film here today in our yard. By the way, y'all, these uh, Asian lady beetles, don't confuse them with ladybugs. Because they are most definitely not ladybugs. They are imposters. Okay? They want to make you think that they're ladybugs, but they're not ladybugs. Um, you can tell on their little on their head at the base of their head they have like a little it looks like a white M um, plus you just don't see ladybugs doing this this type of behavior you see them in the garden you know you see them from time to time you don't see them swarming in large quantities like this or at least I never have so if somebody wants to correct me on that I'm just saying I've never seen ladybugs act this way I've seen only Asian lady beetles acting this way so they are not ladybugs I call them ladybugs all the time. I know good and well they're not ladybugs, they're lady beetles. But uh, just to let you know, they are not ladybugs. They are an imposter and they are called the Asian lady beetle is what they're most commonly referred to. So to add to the effect, I'm gonna come in here and try to film <clears throat> so you can see what's going on behind me, what's going on here. Uh, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Y'all, and they stink. They stink so bad. They smell uh, kind of a musty I don't know I just associate it with a Asian lady beetle stink because I've smelled them ever since I was a kid we used to vacuum them up um, that was our chore they were really really bad in our basement and my mom would send us down there with the vacuum cleaner and say vacuum up the lady beetles so that's what we had to do we had to sit there and it would take forever and we'd vacuum and vacuum and vacuum and guess what in about an hour they're all over again and the vacuum cleaner, y'all, smelled so bad. As soon as you turn on that uh, vacuum cleaner, the smell would just permeate the whole air. It was awful. So, yeah, it's kind of similar to a stink bug. Maybe not as pungent as a stink bug, but they do stink. God forbid you accidentally eat one because they taste horrible. I haven't ever eaten one, but I've heard of people that they were in their house so bad and they dropped in their food and they took a bite before they realized they were in there. If they taste anything like they smell, I know it's got to be bad. Another thing about them is wherever they walk, they leave this nasty yellow, I call it butt juice. I don't know what you're going to call it. It comes out their butt. It's a nasty secretion that comes out their tail and it gets all over everything they get on. And that stuff stinks, but guess what else it does? It attracts all their 50 billion trillion relatives and they all are attracted to that little stink and here they come they're gonna come join the party so that's why if you've had them real bad they keep coming back because of the smell that they like in their nasty yellow butt juice so yeah there's that so what do you do about it well there's a couple of different things you could do if you are experiencing this uh, infestation 
you need to get ahead of the game. Um, it's best to, when it's getting a little bit chilly or fall is upon you, go ahead and spray the outside of your house, uh, the door frames, the window frames, um, with some people just use Raid. Okay, you can just use that to help. They actually make an Asian lady beetle uh, spray. So check out Tractor Supply or just look Google it online. It's called Asian Lady Beetle. I can't remember the brand, but it's a, like a yellow container. <coughs> and um, that helps a lot. Um, there's some other type of, ask your local co-op. Um, there's another type of sprayer or spray that you can get. And I think it's a concentrate so you can mix it to put on the outside of your windows i don't know if that one's safe for inside but the asian lady beetle spray you buy that's in the yellow container that is good for inside and outside both so anywhere that you have cracks you think they might be getting under they really love vinyl siding for some reason so and then usually it seems to be like an afternoon sunny side of your house they're always worse so maybe focus most of the spray on that side sorry they do bite, by the way. These things bite. They're not like every time they land on you, they don't bite. But if they get caught in your shirt and get mashed, they will bite. And it does hurt sometimes. So anyway, that's another another feature to the Asian lady beetle that you got to love. Um, anyway, I think I've got one down in my shirt right now. Um, trying to think what else. Oh, yeah. If you don't have, if you're more of a natural person, you don't want to use any chemicals, which I totally get that because this, I try to stay away from chemicals so but on cases like this i, I do bring out the chemicals i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie y'all this is uh this is uh the next level up we're not gonna go organic on this because y'all i gotta sleep at night and i ain't sleeping with a ladybug falling in my mouth while i'm drinking while i'm sleeping um <clears throat> clove oil and i think even peppermint oil helps as well but they do not like clove oil, so you can uh, mix some of that and, you know, emulsify that in some uh, oil or water or mix or whatever and spray it or just do straight oil on a, on a paper towel and wipe it around your door frames. Uh, an infestation this bad, I'm not sure how well it's going to help. You're going to have to bring out the big guns. So, anyway, try to do that before it gets bad. They always come out after a, a freeze and it starts to warm up afterwards, so... Even though they're real bad now, it gets cold again, they will disappear. But when it warms up again, they come right back out. So uh, get ahead of the game before they arrive. You'll still have them out in your yard. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. But if you don't want them in your house, you need to take uh, precautions to go ahead and spray every crack on the outside, any access point they may be able to get in, and uh, even on the inside. They still may get in, but usually they'll die pretty quickly and just get the vacuum out but another tip is I would get one of them small little handheld vacuums and dedicate it only to lady beetles don't use your good vacuum cleaner because their stink will ro uh, royally mess it up and then it will for forever smell like uh, lady beetles so anyway you guys have a wonderful day I hope you're not in uh, having to deal with this because it's it's awful <laughs> it's, it's literally they come out they come in the fall, y'all. So, fall isn't always what it's cracked up to be. Because there are some bad parts about it. And I'm experiencing it right now. Anyhow, you guys take care. Uh, good luck on the Lady Beetle infestation. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video.